All right, guys, let's go to chapter five. And by the way, just like Leffen is, is dark man, I am fuzzy man. This means something about who I am, my web camera being dirty constantly. I don't even, I clean it like literally every day. It's like I have to Q-tip it like every 10 minutes. It's annoying. All right, why Levo exist? Oh, I'm excited. Levo, Levo. Now that the stage is set, I'm going to begin listing manipulation tactics that Leffen uses on a regular... This isn't... This isn't what fucking happens. I hate when people bring... I'm not saying this has never happened. I'm not saying they don't use this tactic as well. Most of the time, the way these dictators get power is they take a whole bunch at one point, usually because their country is in shambles, and they rise the power and the people give it to them because they're like, hey, we think this guy's going to fix it all. So, for instance, Hitler got voted in. The Nazi party was already gaining a lot of power. Um, they were going slowly, and then this bombing happened, and they were able to take a whole bunch. Um, you know, with with Stalin, he brought up so he brought up three people. He brought up Stalin, Chairman Mao, and Hitler. Um, basically, you could say what happened in Germany was almost a revolution. In in Russia, there literally was a revolution. The Red Army and the White Army were fighting. Um, Stalin said that the White Army was being propped up by international. He didn't call them foes. What did he call them? He just said that they were puppets of the international, um, well, well not uh, the bourgeoisie. I don't know if he called them that. That sounds like Marx and Stalin and Marx. Right, they weren't eye to eye. Let's just say he called them bourgeoisie. Basically, they were puppets to keep the Russian people down. He did do that, and like it, it really was true. I'm not saying we had bad motivations or bad interests for the Russian people, but to say that their government at that point was anything but a puppet being, and the only reason they were able to maintain any control over the country was because of the Japanese, mainly the British, and then the Americans, like in that order. Like a lot of British money, uh, but a lot of Japanese military was there, and then some American uh, f uh, money as well and some production. Uh, and then he won, obviously, and he took control of the country. It wasn't they take an inch and take a mile. He took a mile right away. A Chairman Mao, there was a revolution. Like, like, what is this? Like, why do we say these things? That's not what happened. I don't know. And, like, he brought up three very specific people. And, like, Trump, that it wasn't really he took an inch, then take a mile. For Trump, it was more he was always trying to take a mile, but he never really got it. Like, again, this, this, this uh, adage, is that what it's called? This metaphor. Mm. I think it's a metaphor, right? Because it's not a simile. It's, it, I don't see it. This is more like a business tactic. That makes sense. I could see that. Businesses give them an inch and they'll take a mile. But like tyrants and taking control over countries, that is, that's just not what happens, man. It's faces. not what happens. The first one is called the totalitarian tiptoe, or tiptoeing for short. Tip like what about Mussolini? To to Same to thing. He took it all. What about, what about that, like that Spanish guy? Oh, man. Speech that I talked about earlier. As the Pat Miller quote what explained, was his name? the best way to take control over a people and control them oh, yeah, is you to did. take a little of their freedom at a time to erode rights. Why can't I think about this? Like that was going on during World War II. Like there was a civil war in Spain. Those rights and freedoms being removed um, until past the So it's like they were in the war. It was just like a the idea like a separate the war of the World War. Is to do it gradually so that nothing happens abruptly enough to raise eyebrows. Oh my God! I'm sorry. Stop talking, hacks. I have to think of his name or I'm gonna freak out. Oh, this is pathetic. For some reason, I, I can't get Fidel Castro out of my head. Oh, you better Fidel Castro. Exactly. He took all of his power, like, at once. Yeah, it got darker or more extreme. But basically, he took control. He wanted to be democratic. He wanted to be allies with America. We shut him down because of the business interests we lost in Cuba due to him taking over. So he went to Russia. Uh, and then, you know, we kept trying to kill him. So what do you think he's going to do? Oh, he's going to try to maintain more control over his country. Oh my God, Spanish guy. Oh, I can't think of it. He was not a good dude. Oh my God. I'm so pathetic. I'm not going to look it up. It'll come to me. This can cause people to fail to realize that they've agreed to massively disadvantageous terms. This is going on a long time. Like, we don't have to go over this again. Censorship. Basically, don't skip from A to Z or else people will notice. Instead, advance a couple of letters at a time. 
Now that you know about tiptoeing, I want to start by showing you that nothing has changed since evidence.zip and that Leffen is still the same malicious person in the year 2021. Yeah, maybe, Le maybe Leffen does At this. At the very end of last year, the I announced that I'd be hosting an online version of my tournament series, Hax's Nightclub, starting on January 2nd, 2021. I think I watched some of that. The trailer it was pretty stated good. that I'd be hosting a tournament every Saturday that didn't already have a tournament happening on that date. This is standard practice in the Smash community. We host tournaments for the good of the community, and so we don't overrun each other's tournaments. Well, it happens. On January but, 2nd, yeah, my staff not often. hosted Hax's nightclub. There were 567 entrants, and the event was a huge success. But what a lot of people didn't know. Oh, understand yeah, I saw that one. Hax's I watched that. Never yeah, yeah, yeah. After that date. The real reason is very complicated. Mookie On January great, 3rd, by the, way. the day after I hosted Hax's nightclub, Leffen announced that he'd be starting up a weekly tournament series called Levo. To enter Levo, people would have to subscribe to Leffen on Twitch. Levo was going to happen every Saturday, which normally would have meant that it was overrunning Hax's nightclub. The catch, though, is that Levo was a European event, and so no one batted an eye. Okay. Not even my staff saw what Leffen had just done, <laughs> but I knew precisely what this meant. <laughs> Leffen was tiptoeing, and he was soon <laughs> to overrun Hax's nightclub entirely. If Le <laughs> Leffen is Akira, and Hax is... Oh, what's his name? L? It's a letter. Oh my god. It's not L. Oh my god, don't look... I can, all I can think about is his. I can't spoil it. Oh my god. What was his name? I can't even think of it anymore. I can't think of the Spanish guy and I can't think of his name. If I had announced the North American event on Saturdays, it would have raised too many eyebrows. So, what he needed to do instead was take baby steps. Within a few weeks, he was inevitably going to expand Levo to North America. Once I saw this, I knew exactly what I needed to do. I was going to trade my entire tournament series to mount my case against Leffen, and so I shut down Hax's nightclub. The interesting thing, though, is that nobody knew that there wasn't going to be another event. Not even my own staff knew the truth. I'd begun to lie to everybody by telling them that the next event would be on January 23rd. So you did it to yourself. Discord server. You're so the convinced Leffen was going to take over your tournament slot on the next two weekends. was so you was shut down. Host another event, then I would have had to schedule around them. But I was only looking for one thing here, and that was to make Leffen take the next step on January 23rd. I would then be able to show this to people later. But you the shut it down. The that happened the week after my event was called Galint. I ran fake ads at Galint because I needed to be absolutely sure that Leffen would see them. The ads said that the next Taxes nightclub would fall you, on January 23rd. What? I thought you said you shut it down! And then on January 14th, the inevitable happened when Leffen announced that the Levo he'd be hosting on January 23rd would have a North American bracket. Because of how inconspicuously Leffen slipped this in, no one even noticed that he had just overrun another tournament. January 23rd is also when Leffen would start calling it Saturday Night Levo, which is a direct shot at Hax's nightclub. It's not. Before I go any further, let me explain why this is it's so significant. Not. Leffen wanted I, I, to overrun I, my okay. tournament in order to weaken his longtime adversary. However, he knew that his original <laughs> announcement on January 3rd said that he'd be hosting a North American tournament on Saturdays. People would have brought up the fact that the East Coast had just gotten a major tournament series and that he was blatantly overrunning it. So instead, Leffen started by hosting an EU-only tournament. Then, two weeks later, he slipped in an announcement that he'd be adding a North American bracket. This allowed okay. Leffen to overrun Hax's nightclub without anyone noticing. No, the you shut it down. The reveal a high degree of Machiavellianism. Not only does this show that Leffen has the capacity to manipulate the community, but it also shows complete disregard for the community. Whereas Hax's nightclub was a free event, Levo requires you to sub to Leffen on Twitch, which means Leffen was willing to take a free event away from the community. This also shows that... No, you took it away. You just said you were going to shut it down. Regard like, I don't even get, like, why not actually have both tournaments go on and then let the community make a decision? Instead, like, did you, you didn't run the event, so then Leffen never actually did this. Like, do you get how, how, even if Leffen, even if he was Akira at this moment and he said, oh, I'm going to come for Hax's nightclub. And the name was based on your, he's, oh. <laughs> you know, he's got that dark picture on. He He's wearing the Adidas shirt. He's he's literally just rubbing himself. <laughs> okay. He's got a box. He's got his box. <laughs> All right. If if you never ran your tournament, it never happened. There's no issue. And like it seems really weird to me because you had a staff and yet your staff never knew you planned. Like you said you were going to shut it down. Your staff didn't know. 
So did did they do a lot of work for you to never run it? Like, like why didn't you just run the event and go, I can't believe Leffen is actually going to have a North American tournament during Hax's nightclub, right? It would conflict. But... It never happened. Capacity for so then Leffen is fine. Resource drain and socially parasitic behavior. Leffen's con may have been directed at me, but he was willing to exploit the community in order to execute it. I'm so confused. One of the reasons I, I so shut down Hax's nightclub completely was because I wanted to see how Leffen would lie to people afterward. This would end okay. up happening a month later. On February 27th and 28th, there was going to be a major European event called The Upset. The Upset was being held by Poilon, a company that had recently gotten into Smash. The upset singles bracket was going to take place on Sunday, February 28th, while Leffen would host Levo on Saturday the 27th. Okay. A few days before that weekend, Leffen's narcissism kicked into full gear. He's <laughs> criticizing okay, the upset wait. for starting its Sunday bracket at 11 a.m., as this would make it difficult for him to host Levo, then sleep, and enter the upset the next day. He started to make lots of other criticisms as well. Things got to the point that the upset's head T.O. had to step in and tell Leffen to stop shitting on his team's hard work, and that oh, no whatever. one was forcing right. Leffen to enter the upset. The no team one was. also accused Leffen of overrunning his event, since it would have been common courtesy for Leffen to not host Levo at all that week so that the first day of the upset could do better. Okay, there seems to be a lot more happening here that I don't understand because there's this thing about how we can change that, but I need I I, I gave you the schedule for the year. Like I don't get to see the rest of the comment. So there was Leffen was alerted to this, like I'm assuming months in advance or a month in it in advance he was given a schedule. And also he this guy canvassed players, and they're like, well, God, we don't, we want to do Leffen's Levo. I don't know. Maybe Leffen's Levo is really popular. So then this guy would be infringing on Leffen's Levo. But they figure it out. Leffen's going to do his, and then they're going to do all of theirs in one day. Um, and, oh, okay, I give you the schedule, and you said you wouldn't. We are aiming... Or... Okay, right, I get it now. Um, but if other players liked Levo that much, like, again, he says we canvas players and they wanted to give up one day. If possible. I think that's the typo. It's supposed to be, but when we canvas players, so they're going to the community, oh, man, we don't want to give up Levo, if possible. But then now he's saying it's your fault. But they ask people, and they're like, we don't want to. So is it Leffen's fault, or is it the community's fault? Because maybe Levo was like a, like a, oh, you can't miss Levo. Since it would have been common courtesy for Leffen <laughs> to not host Levo at all that week, so that the first day of the I, could I be I don't better. know. Leffen then okay. flat out lied to the Okay, also I don't see how hosting Levo is clashing on Iron and the Singles event that starts one hour after. Now it's saying the event was up for a week. I am so much more confused about all of this. The TO's face but by whatever. acting as though he cares about not conflicting with other events. We know that this is a lie because Leffen actually created Levo with the intention of overrunning Hax's nightclub. No, because you shut Hax's These nightclub types of down. can go a long way. Levo would go on to become the official qualifier for Summit's online events, whereas it's entirely possible that Hax's nightclub would have received this partnership if not for... I didn't receive this partnership because you shut. Can I go back? I'm going to make sure he said I shut it down. I had no intention of running it. Isn't that what happened? Didn't he say this? Okay, Hacks is like, yeah, he shuts the light off. L. Wasn't he actually L? Or is it H? M? N. It was a letter because he was a detective. On January 3rd, the day after I hosted nah. Hacks' nightclub, left day after he was starting up a weekly tournament series called Levo, okay, which normally would have made no one batted an eye. Not even but my you staff did. saw what Leffen had just done, but I knew precisely what this meant. Leffen was tiptoeing on Saturdays. It would have raised too many eyebrows, so what he needed to do instead was take baby steps. Within a few weeks, he was inevitably going to expand Levo to North America. Once I saw this, I knew exactly what I needed to do. I was going to trade my entire tournament series to mount my case against Leffen, and so I shut down Hax's nightclub. 
I shut down Hax's nightclub. Sorry. I just wanted to clearly have that stated for anybody who ever watches these videos. Why would you do so? You It never happened. And it, it never, there was never a confliction because you shut it Let down. Flat out lie to the TO's face by acting as though he cares. It's about like the time you didn't want to go events. into the hotel room. We know that this is a lie because Leffen actually created. Lee or the time the you wouldn't go to smash forums nightclub. because of Leffen. These types of cons can go a long way. Oh, right. I go on to become the official no, qualifier you, you, for Summit. I shut events, it down. Whereas it's you entirely just said possible that. that Hax's nightclub would have received this partnership <sighs> if this not for overrunning it. Like I said, though, I was willing to trade my tournament series so that I could show you this. The moment no, I saw Leffen's announcement didn't. on January 3rd, I knew that I had the opportunity to catch him in a string of lies. No, you didn't. You would have caught him in it if you had kept your tournament going and you go, guys, Leffen now is a North American tournament. I have Hax's nightclub. But that is not what happened. Instead, Hax's nightclub was done and Levo kept happening. Yeah, I'm not a big fan for subs only. Well, don't go to the tournament. You don't like it, don't do it. Right, you could have kept Hax's nightclub up, but you shut it down without even telling your staff, which seems really rude to me. All right. Uh, but yeah, I guess Leffen definitely did something wrong with this other tournament, but then, like, it, it seems like it wasn't just Leffen. Like, maybe the community liked Levo that much, and it's like, well, it's not... It's the consumer's choice, or the competitor. He gets to choose what tournaments he cares about. I guess they cared about Levo more. Like, sorry, dude. I guess your tournament did suck. I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. These are just... We already know about all this. Dark Tetrad, back. Okay, it's over. Fuck, man. <laughs> How to destroy your box. Woo-hoo-hoo. <laughs>